Good morning, YouTubers. Hope you're doing well today. Early morning here in Eastern Kentucky. Not even seven o'clock yet. Had it on my mind about separating your solar panels from inside the house there. That way you don't hook up uh, too much voltage to a, a lower voltage power station. Figured we might go over that this morning. Look there, the sun's starting to peek out. I know you probably can't see it, but it is right behind them trees. Feels good this morning. Now, there's my three arrays, 700 watt coming into the house each. This right here array, 700 watts. The middle one is 700 watts, and the top one is 700 watts. These ain't all together. These are all separate. I can charge three units off of these at the same time. Over here is my 600 watt array. New power. 200 watts each, so six all together going into the house. And then this one over here, new power. I do like them, good efficiency. These are a total of 420, 210 each going into the house. Made the stands myself, they can swivel and tilt I got a previous video on building this one if you want to check it out and those on my building there so yeah you can go back and look at my other videos I've got other videos on power stations solar hooking them up to your house your appliances just go back check them out if you want now you wonder like I said how do I keep these separated and not hooking up to a, a lower voltage generator. Let's go inside and I'll show you. Here I am in my bedroom with all my generators. You can see them all. And here are my solar panel cords coming in. Like I told you, the three arrays from my building Right here is the last one I showed you, the 420. And right there is my 600 watt ground mount. So my 600 watt ground mount, my 420 ground mount, and these three are the 700 each coming off the building. And what I have done, I don't know if anybody else would wanna do this, but it's pretty simple, more or less color coded and numbered. These are my blue eddies. Well, that's what I call them on my building, the 700 watt. If you come over here, I tag them with blue zip tie, zip tie tags. That's my very top panel row on my building, A1. Right here is the second row, A2. And the last one closest to the ground, A3. And if you notice, I color tag them blue for Blue Eddie. So right there, that's the three off the building. The second one I showed you was my newest one. That's the 600 watt. I've tagged it yellow. You can see right there. 600 watt. And then this one, that's my 420. I color coded it green. 420. And I'll get to this in a minute why I've done it color coded. If you look at all of my solar uh, 
power stations. Do you notice something? They're color coded. So like my Pecrons here, I just put little stickers on them. It can take the green, which is a 420 volt or a 420 watt. It can take the yellow, which is a 600. Same with the Pecron 1500 there. It can take the 420 or the 600. You get up to the Ocotails. See, they only can take the green, the 420, because they only can take in 500 watts. Now my Blue Eddies, they can take up to 700 watts. This one actually is running my freezer's and refrigerator right now. Sorry for the glare. But it can take the green, the blue, or the yellow. It can take all of them. And I have everything tagged, stickered, I guess you could say. There's the Pongo, which is the same thing as the Ocotel. Another Blue Eddie's tagged. My Enor. It can take the yellow or green, 420 or the 600. Another Blue Eddie. Now the newer uh, Ocotel P5000 here. I've not got it tagged because believe it or not, they uh, emailed me this morning probably about an hour ago, and said they're gonna send me a return slip. I guess they finally got tired of hearing me, but uh, finally gonna to get to return this sucker. The fans will not shut off when you turn on the AC. More or less the AC button. Well, you can't see cause of the, sorry about that people. Your AC button right there to turn on your uh, hookups. That is a power switch for the fans. If it's on, the fans are on. Turn it off, the fans are off. There's my oops. Now the stickers wouldn't stick to it. It's got kind of a, like a, a texture to the plastic. And uh, it was either stick them on the screen, which I didn't want to. So I just put my tags on there. If you can see them right there. The green one's there too, it's just behind it down on the bottom. And then my anchor, it can only take the 420. It's only a 60 volt intake from solar and that's the only downfall to the anchor. It's the one thing I cannot stand why they didn't do a better job on that and raise the voltage. Then my Fozzie bot, it'll take all three absolutely love this sucker i'm telling you people if you want a good one right there but that's how i do it and uh to tell you the truth the main reason i've done it like this is because my wife don't understand the voltages and the watts and all that and uh that's why i've done it is just an easy way of her being able to tell what she can hook up and what she can't when I'm not here or in an emergency. She can just color code them. That's all she's got to do. She knows how to hook them up. I just, you know, we got to make sure she hooks up the right one because now if you hook up a, well, a, a 700 watt right here to my Ocotel, you're going to fry that Ocotel. And then you just got a paperweight. So that's what you gotta watch out for. And again, you know, instead of buying cords, I'm just gonna throw this out. Remember, you can get these adapters off of eBay and Amazon. They're lifesavers. I mean, you know, XT90 right there to XT60. XT60 to Anderson. XT90 to Anderson. I'm just telling you, nice to have. And I wanted to show you this. I got this off of Timu. And you can see right there, MC4. 
comes around. I put little zip ties on them to keep them from getting apart all the time and kinking up. But this is a four-way. It gives you an Anderson XT60. Honestly, I forget the names, but uh, they're not a 5521, but they're just different barrel ports. But I mainly got them for these two right here. Because, see, I can put my XT90 adapter on here. I can put my XT60 or 90 on here. You know, I can put an extension cord on here and go longer. But it's all just one piece. And I paid, I think it was roughly like 8 $9 for it. So, I thought that was a good buy. But yeah, if you want to make sure you or someone in your family don't overcharge something, one of your power stations, color code them or number them. And you can get these little tags, plastic zip tie tags, and they're made to put a label on. They come with the labels. They're on eBay. That's where I got these. I'm sure they're on Amazon too, but if I don't forget, I'll leave a link in the description for them tags zip ties and these little stickers you can get anywhere walmart i believe that's where i got all these but yeah i just wanted to make a little video of that right there i've heard of a lot of people hooking up too much voltage like right here you know 700 volts into your ocatel and then your ocatel quits working and you're wondering why but then when you figure it out it's a little too late so, uh, this is just a, a good way just to remind you. So, just keep that in mind. And, uh, again, I appreciate a thumbs up, a like, share the video. And, again, I've got many more videos on different power stations, solar panels, how to hook them up, prepping. Just check out the videos. And I do appreciate every one of you. Uh, God bless you. Take care of your family and your neighbors. And thank you for uh, tuning in. Catch you on the next one.